Hey, welcome back to More Unexplored. I just want to mention real quick something pretty interesting. I've had some troubles with recording this game in the past. I just want to mention that right now it's working perfectly. First try, and d despite the fact that it is currently set up to be recording Dark Souls. Where it says, like, what's the source? What are you recording right now? It says Dark Souls. Despite that, it's recording unexplored with absolutely no problem. So maybe I've finally fixed the problem. I just have to tell it it's Dark Souls. Okay. Yeah, because I, I was just playing Dark Souls before this, recording stuff. Alright. Hey, if it works. Anyway, the reason why we're on the menu is, uh... There's been an update. Pretty, fairly big balance update. Um, the biggest thing is they changed how the weapons swing. Like the sword and stuff. Which is interesting, because, yeah, I never really got the hang of how to, <laughs> how to time that, right? So... We'll see how it works. I'm optimistic. Um, you can... And be, it, I guess it kind of, like, charges up or something? Or, like, you can kind of... It takes a second before you swing or something. So now you can see also that enemies do that. Um, some visual indicators. You can bind Staff of Fire and Lightning to make a Staff of Switching. I mean, that makes perfect sense. I don't know why you would do that, though. But, alright. When you reload the game, it starts pause. That's pretty great. I'm happy they added that. Um, that's a, a great minor addition. Grab torches from walls by using tools is interesting. And you can coat weapons in oil. Does that mean you can, like, light them on fire and have flaming weapons? Or, yeah, like, what's the... You don't... Hmm. I'm assuming you can do that and then... Yeah, get flaming weapons. Other... I, but I hope it doesn't, like, light you on fire? I'm not really sure. I guess with a potion of resist fire it could still be useful. I don't know. Yeah, and game balance. Um... Enemies have a better chance of finding you if you just if they've just recently spotted you, which makes sense. I mean, it was kind of weird. Sometimes you would hide, you'd get caught, and then you'd run around a corner and hide like you're only a foot away from them, and they can't see you again. Also, apparently, yeah, sneaking doesn't reduce your speed anymore, which is interesting. Um, I never really had a problem with that, but daggers and potions no longer knock back big creatures such as trolls as much. That makes sense. Uh, boiled leather, increased knockback on weapons. Okay, yeah, okay. Change some damage for stuff. Praying works on more things. Eggs wake up if you bump into them. Now, did they not do that before? I still don't understand... Okay, like, that doesn't tell me if... If they added this, that... Now, eggs up wake up when... Eggs wake up when you bump into them, where before they didn't. In which case, I have absolutely no clue... When they wake up. Or if it's saying that, uh... It used to wake up for a variety of different reasons, but now they only wake up if you bump into them. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll try not to bump into them, I guess. Uh, some performance. Bugs. Didn't say anything about... Um, they fixed that achievement I got for no reason. That makes sense. Falling down in a time trial no longer causes problems. problem. Yeah, but that's not what happened. See, I don't know if they actually fixed the whole descend at the bottom floor thing. Um, and apparently, yeah, there was something about when the, they changed how you swinging worked, you could, like, propel yourself forward and go really fast. I wish I had tried that. Uh, but, yeah, I haven't played anything with this new update yet. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like maybe they haven't fixed the, uh, descend at the bottom floor thing yet. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do. I don't really remember what's supposed to happen when you descend to the bottom floor. But not what happened, I imagine. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get going. Still very optimistic about where this is going. And yeah, oh yeah, so how does this... Oh. Hmm. Weird, how is... Okay, so you kind of... Ah, oh, okay, okay, so you can kind of hold it beforehand. Instead of trying to get the timing perfect, it kind of like cuts out some of the time of the animation, you know what I mean? Like, if you just click it, it takes a second longer, so then you, you can charge it in like get rid of part of the animation time. I assume that's why it's an improvement, is that you'll... the timing will be easier because there will be less um, time in the animation itself. I assume that's that's what's going on here. We'll have to see it in action. Um, <laughs> which isn't super likely, actually, considering it's a minus... Do we have a minus two, maybe? No. Yeah, it's a minus three sword. We're really only going to use it on eggs, and uh, it's not like I really had much of a problem fighting eggs, so 
we might not really see much of the improvement. What is up there? Were there really enemies up there that I just missed? Those are enemies, right? Yeah, living creature. I'm just going to check that out real quick. I mean, we want to kill everything we can. So, yeah, let's give it a look. I don't imagine I would miss... I, I really did just miss it. Okay, the timing is super weird if you don't charge it first, though. Or, it just feels really weird. It's a weird animation. But if you charge it, that seems pretty nice. Uh, okay. Uh, now, I, I don't know. It's, it'll take me a second to get used to. The dev was saying, like, uh, I think he said in the update thing, like, it's easy to get used to. You'll figure it out pretty fast. Um, so I hope that's the case. But it feels pretty weird when you just when you just press it. I don't know. It feels weird because it's different. That's going to be the case no matter what. Hopefully it's an improvement. We'll see. Again, we don't want to use it either way. Right now it's a minus three. And most of these enemies, like this, this guy, we want to shoot him. There's no doubt about it. All these guys. Um, okay. Yeah, not many floors left, which is very good. Very good thing. I think we'll actually get on the high score list. As long as we don't fuck up. And we could fuck up. Man, this chair is uncomfortable. I need to buy a new chair. <laughs> it's like, part of it leans back, um, but like, like only, like, the left side of it has lost some of the support that keeps it more upright, so it like, leans back always on the left side, so you're kind of uneven, and it's, I don't imagine it's very good for your back. <laughs> it's, it's very uncomfortable. Um, I really didn't need that crossbow. But the life potion, on the other hand, is a sweet find. Uh, extra arrow? Okay, sure. Gotta wait for that. Someone right behind here. Ooh, big guys. Uh, the, t the timing was actually pretty good on that. It's just... W oh, wait. So does it not propel you forward at all? No, it does propel you forward. That guy died while I was waiting. Um, or not waiting. Testing that out. But yeah, I don't understand... I don't, I don't really get it yet so far. Okay, we have too much stuff. Let's eat a ration. That doesn't solve our problem, but... Um... A spear is still, like, not bad. Also, I think I have flux on. Give me just a second. <laughs> That's the thing that changes the color over time, you know? As sunset goes down, it takes out the blue color. I Again, I don't think it shows up on recording, but... It bugs me a little bit. This fire seems pretty sweet. Actually, yeah, with all of our explosions... Yeah, we were talking about that. With all of our explosion potions, we were going to try and make one, but now it's like, we just fucking got one. That's great. And also, I'm pretty sure it's just water and fire ant gland to make one, so if we can get to... Oh, do we want to go to the fire? I think we might want to go to the alchemy lab just to get the fire um, resist potions made. So then we, uh, we can just throw as many explosion things as we want and not really have to worry about it. Um, we still need to make some room here, and I guess... God, but the ring, if I combine it with something like this, could actually do something, I think. I'm pretty sure. What do we not need? A dagger. Yep, yep, we'll never need a dagger. Teleport scroll could be very useful, so I definitely want it. Good for getting away from stuff. Uh, I think I will actually... Are these all... Oh, these are all traps, I see. Um, yeah, I think I'm actually going to head back up because... Because the way this thing generates, I think there's not going to be another place to make potions anywhere. I think it's just that one location, and that's kind of the point of it. Which is kind of inconvenient. I mean, at least I know... Uh, I don't know. It's like on a normal run, it's probably pretty likely that I wouldn't run into another anyway. You know, just randomly. But... I wouldn't backtrack because I would assume I might run into one and th that it wasn't wasting it wasn't worth the time to go back. But now like I'm pretty sure I need to go back. I don't know. Uh it's fine, I guess. <laughs> it just I don't I wish I didn't have to go back. I mean, honestly, why do I need a, a crafting thing to even make potions? I mean, literally, isn't it just I think the description of it for like how you find out the recipe is just, uh... Actually, maybe we have a key here. Maybe this could be worth it? No. I'm pretty sure the description is you just, like, boil water with a fire ant gland in it. Or something like that. Like, can we boil water anywhere? 
right? I mean, there are torches everywhere. There are those cauldrons with fire in them. There's a, like, it seems like there's a million ways we could do that. There's those, are, there are those campfires around. We could just start a fire. Like, why do we need a, one of these to boil it? Especially since what here boils it? I mean, there's a fire nearby. But, you know. Oh, we have a, where did we get the staff? Okay, nice. Yep. And we got an achievement for it because we've never actually done this. All right. Uh, is that really, like, uh, something we haven't seen? I doubt it. Teleportation? Yeah, we saw that. Oh, that's how we knew it was a teleportation. Although a lot of things seem to be identified, but um You know, we could just descend here. Um I think that's a terrible idea though. I mean saves us some time, but still probably a terrible idea. I realized we did give up those waters which were useful in case we're on fire. Oh, but no, that doesn't even matter. No, <laughs> that's dumb because we're getting resist fire potions, so like obviously those are better than water. If the only point of water is to get rid of fire, yeah, that's gonna do it better. So we're oh, was there another? Well, fuck, I don't care. I mean, we don't even have more water anyway. And those are some. Although we could have, nope, never mind. I was gonna say we could have combined that bloat because it was a bloat, not a fire. Um, we could have combined, com combined, combined the bloat gland with a um incinerate to make another explosion but for one thing do we really need another explosion and for another thing uh wait which one is it and for another thing we we don't have one so nothing no no harm done yeah the backtracking here kind of sucks um i don't know it's, i don't know what could really be improved like i don't know what could solve that problem other than maybe just why can't you boil water on any fire but, you know. Okay. Did I bump him, or... I think I might have bumped him, and then, uh, you know, that would make sense. Did something else get... Oh, oop. Nothing got corroded, actually, it seems. Huh. It seemed... Yeah, mm, Okay. Another resist... Okay, so yeah, there was basically no point in going back there because we would have... Two is probably more than enough. I mean, better safe than sorry, but... I really doubt we are going to have a problem. Yeah, let me just make sure I'm not bumping it, because it, that could be it. Uh, you still got to get the spacing right on this. Oh, yeah, see, I bumped him that time. That was a, that was a bump. Nothing got... Yeah, nothing got corroded, but it was a bump. Um, let's eat these two rations. And avoid doing that in the future. Um, we don't have that. Okay. Could we just poke it over and over and be super safe? Probably. But we do need to get used to the sword eventually. And this is going to be way faster doing it this way. Oh, whoa, that was a... That time I don't think I bumped him because I didn't take damage. But it kind of seemed like I... I'm not sure what happened with that one. Like, it kind of seemed like I bumped him, but I didn't, I didn't take damage. So, I don't know. Um, we can use a descend scroll here if we really need to. Maybe we have the key to whatever's over here. Oh, we do. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm surprised. I'm also surprised there's not a tiny secret room there. It really looks like there would be. Down to the spinner room. Now, isn't there two different ways down and we haven't I guess we have to go to the spinner room to get the skull key and then go down there that'd be my guess the spinner room which is right here yeah this is not the way to go so I'm assuming we'll find the key here more arrows nice I almost prefer those guys to the eggs just because I keep fucking up the eggs also ugh, I hate traps oh, okay um Okay, that guy woke up. That's fine. I didn't mean to... Oh, wait. Did they fix the... I'm not sure if they fixed the crossbow, but it seemed kind of like they did. We'll try that out maybe if we find a big guy. Okay, these guys heard me. It didn't say anything about them retiming the crossbow, so... Um, I guess they probably didn't then. Ooh, nice. Okay, an anvil. We still never use the staff, you know? That's probably worth checking out.
Lightning plus three. Yeah, that makes sense, because it seems like you always get a lightning plus three. Because in the um, achievement things, it mentions specifically getting one of those. Um, we can improve one of our swords back to normal, and I think that's fine. I mean, it's not, it's not like amazing or anything, but there's not much else we can do with iron. Um, then we have metal. Do we want maybe a metal repeater? We can't do that. Hmm. What, a metal ring? Can't do that. A metal curus. Okay, cool. Hardened plus three. Yeah. Okay. That, oh, it, yeah. Protect against corrosion. Probably pretty good. I mean, we haven't gotten our armor corroded really before, but... And I can't make a metal cloak. Oops. Can you get Can you get rid of this description, please? I guess I could have right-clicked on it again. I yeah, can't make a metal cloak. How about a metal... Uh, improve this? No. Maybe... Wait a minute. No, we didn't keep the other one. Metal spear? Wait, a metal sword. No? Me metal spear. Yeah, hardened plus three. It does 13 damage now. It's still slow. It's probably not so bad. Especially for just... We only use it for killing eggs anyway. It's, yeah, we'll be fine with that. Is there anything else? No, it does not seem so. Okay. Whoa! Ugh, fucking traps. How am I even supposed to... What am I supposed to do about that? There's not even any way for me to, like, get my trap sense skill up. Whatever that's called. So, like, I was, I was just supposed to get lucky, I guess. Oh, fuck you. What is this? Is this just the room trying to tell me, like, you shouldn't be here? Or what? This is ridiculous. Maybe I should use a resist fire? Just to stop getting fucking fired? I mean, of course now I'm not going to run into any. You know what I mean? Like, now there's none. There's no fire ones left. At least I've got a lot of healing. Did we use a life? No, we didn't. Which is interesting. I don't, I don't understand that. Before, it would always use a life first. Because we did use it. We did use one, right? Yeah, we used the healing potion. Before, it would always use a potion of life first. Which I understood. Because it's like... Yeah, using the potion of life gives you more health, which is going to be more helpful. You know, like, it makes sense to use it right away. But now it doesn't do that, and I don't know why. I don't know what changed their minds, or, like, what's different. Or if maybe it's something with this mode that does it, but I don't understand. I don't know. <laughs> like, maybe there's a reason for it, but I don't know. Oh, right, we want to try, um, multiples. Here, watch. Nope, it still hits each other. In fact, if you shoot three of them, the second two don't even do damage. So, yeah, it is definitely not worthwhile to rapid fire. So they did not fix that. If it is, in fact, supposed to be fixed. But I would sure think so. It, it seems pretty worthless to even have the rapid fire any either. Like, uh, uh, if it doesn't work like that. If it's supposed to um, hit itself. Unless it's supposed to... Oh, really? That, that woke it up? Unless you're supposed to maybe, like spray it but what situations does that come up and like yeah i don't know and then you wouldn't be able to aim very well at all i, I doesn't seem right oh we're pretty low on health maybe some rations arrows are fine yeah that's that's fine um i guess we oh okay um that is all the enemies uh key there we go. And another staff. Well, we... Mm, oh, we should probably have this fucking equipped. What are we doing? Uh, so yeah. That'll work. Let's, uh, let's try this out. A flame staff. I like it. Um... There. I like it. Yeah, that could be pretty good. Uh, gargoyles just popped up for some reason. I don't understand why we're not even in that room. Ooh, a ration. Uh, I wish I could just eat it out of the barrel. But I can't. I think those guys are coming at me, too. Uh, we don't need this many flasks. There we go. Yeah, they're coming at me. Just... I can teleport if things get bad. Which might be the thing to do. I could, I mean, I could fight them, but they don't give me kills, so I don't really want to do that. They're just going to stay, stand around, so I'm going to teleport. 
Perfect. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's exactly as far as I needed to go. Just right outside. Um, we will check out the rest of this, even though it seems to be a somewhat dangerous place to be. Uh, oh, it just loops back around. Okay, hopefully we don't run into any traps that we missed the first time, but I think we're safe. All right. Good. So now, um, right here. Yep. Should be pretty close. A lot of healing. A lot of explosions. Three resist fires. Um, it's looking good. Especially, actually, with the uh, flames staff, too. That's good to have resist fires. There's a way down. There's nothing else. Okay, is this the last floor? The core? Yeah, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 floors. That is a lot of guys. But again, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. I, th I think we've got this in the bag. Okay, there's there's that, which I think will close if we walked in there. Um, in fact, I'm going to close that for now. Oh, but then on the other hand, we want to kill all those guys before we kill the queen. That's kind of the problem, because I was thinking, like, we need to kill the queen first, because then we can use the explosion potions on her. Um, and then whatever we have left over, we could use for this. Uh, but that's not really an option, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw one. Luckily, we have a ton, so it's not like a big deal. And just, yeah, just let them burn. Oh, that is good stuff. Okay, this guy we'll need to kill, but that's fine. One of them, you know, coming at us through a little corridor. Easy. Even two of them, it doesn't matter, because this is this is like old stuff you do in roguelikes. Get them down in a, in a narrow corridor so you can fight them one at a time. It's perfect. You know, what are they going to do? Nothing, that's what they're going to, you know. Especially with arrows doing it at a distance like this, this is just easy. Especially they seem to forget, they don't even know where I am, or something. Oh, I accidentally woke that one up. But I guess I'm fine with that, because I'll get more, uh, uh, skulls. This is pretty easy. I mean, it's a good thing we have a lot of arrows, because we sure are going through them. But yeah, we have hundreds. Well, at least over 100. Yeah, I got a couple of big ones down here. We could throw another explosion. I kind of like the idea of that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I like that. Yeah, this is, this is not, not so hard. Um, there's still a good few left, and I don't really want to... Okay, that's good. Except... The game just froze? Did the game just crash from that? No. Oh, the game crashed from that. When's it gonna save that? Because I, I, I dare say I handled that quite well. I don't want to be losing a lot of progress here. Is the game recording? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's not even... Oh, also, I was wrong. It wasn't recording Dark Souls. It was record recording CK2, even stranger. But uh, now it's back to... To crashing... So, let me try it one more time, but I think I'm going to have to edit this video. Did it really crash from me just attacking the guy? Uh, yeah, let's change this to uh, cancel, game capture, properties, unexplored. The game crashed before I can even set it as the thing to record. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll be right back. Uh, yeah. Well, it actually uh, worked the very next time, so so that wasn't so bad. I just, yeah, let's see where it loads us. Oh! Oh, shit, I walked in. <laughs> I don't like that. But, not bad. I mean, that's basically where we were. So, fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah, uh, no, no harm done, really. I mean, a bit of a strange crash. But, we're fine. And we got all these fucking... Uh, skulls, man. Only three? Wait, we picked up more. Oh, there, yeah, there's these other two. There we go. Um, yeah, strange, strange crash. Oh, I, I bumped him, but that's fine. Right, yeah, strange crash, but no big deal. We're over it. Uh, yeah, it'll. I'm sure it'll be fixed eventually. I'm, I'm not even sure what caused it, why it, shooting that guy with an arrow that time was a bad thing to do, but like every other time didn't matter. Uh, I don't think the Visitor Queen has seen me, despite the intense music. Oh. Unfortunately, I don't... Oh. Invisibility? 
That sounds like a good idea, yeah. I want to kill everything else first, so... Yeah, let's just walk right past... It. Okay, cool. I'm happy I... Yeah, I'm happy I had that. Because that's perfect. So we can actually kill everything. Is this guy right here? Okay. Yeah, so we'll lose our invisibility, but that's fine. We shouldn't have to go past the queen again until we want to just kill it. I don't know what those cracking noises are. Iron metal. Except maybe those guys about to wake up or something, but... Um... Yeah, alright. Oh, we got a strength potion we never used? Uh, <laughs> should have done that. Um, okay, that guy woke up. I, I'm pretty sure I didn't bump him, but again, who knows with all this. This is fine, though. I mean, it does so much damage with a spear, and usually only one of them wakes up. Okay, that one I think I bumped. Yeah, this is still perfectly fine. We are going to get on the high score list. I think we're going to get high on the high score list, too. Oh, the queen is... uh. She made her way up here. That's the queen. For sure. Um. Oh. Queen. <laughs> oh. Okay, she's leaving. I was gonna put off my armor and try sneaking. Can I get actually... Can I actually get around here? Maybe I'll just do that. And get through there. Uh, I, I should have ran for it right then. That was my chance, really. And I don't think it's going to let me through. Oh, no, I can get through here. Okay, well, that's fine, I think. I don't think the queen will come back up fast enough that we need to worry about that. This music is really intense for for nothing happening. But oh, I knew there was an enemy coming up, but I didn't expect it to be under me. Yeah, there's another one, like, right there. Yep. Yep, these are all burrowing guys. Okay, the queen is very close by. I think she saw me. I think she saw me. Although, maybe not. Maybe we're still good. Oops. And, okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. We're about to kill absolutely everything to the point where, like, I don't see how we could have even gotten a higher score than this. Except that there were some rooms that we never made it into. But they didn't have enemies in them. So, I think we're about to get the highest possible score we could have gotten. As long as we don't die against the queen. Or something dumb like that. Because that could have gone badly. I mean, we have healing, but... All right, I mean, I think this is the moment of truth right here. Let's drink our resist fire. There she is. Throw one. Let's let's just get them out. No, let's not do that, because they could then light on fire in our hands. Let's throw another. Let's throw another. Is it better to wait for her to slowly burn until she stops burning? Probably, since she doesn't seem to do anything. Um... Yeah, it's probably better just to wait, or maybe shoot some arrows at her while she burns, and then throw the next one. Yeah, I would think so. Let's get out our next six. Doesn't do a ton of damage to her, she must just have a ton of health. Um, but, she's she's ignoring me. What are you doing? Get back here. What are you doing? Come back and fight, little bitch. What are you doing? Oh, ooh, that was something. Now she's trying to fight. She's had, like, a quarter health, though. Like, she's, she doesn't stand a chance. This is, like, the easiest boss fight I've ever done. I'm just gonna drink a healing now to be super safe. In case it does enough damage in, like, one hit. You know what I mean? But, uh... Otherwise, it's looking pretty good. I don't think... Do you really think you can reach me with that? Oh, well, we did it! We, we've done it! Um, yeah, now things just slow down and you click done. We just got the highest possible score. We could not have, well, okay, maybe some big eggs we might have killed that we could have not killed and gotten more. But I think we're about to get, like, really high on the high score list. 992. 448 times 2 plus 100. Okay, so that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I guess those, the skulls aren't doubled. 992. <laughs> right at the bottom. Come on. What is that? <sighs> well, we made it on it. I mean, like, I shouldn't complain that much. Still, though, like... How did someone get 1906? Do you know what I mean? Like, am I missing something? Or did that guy just get luckier? Because I killed everything. Right? 
Like, I don't think there was anything left on the map. And even if I missed one or two, it's not a thousand point difference. This guy killed more than twice as many enemies as me. How? I don't understand that. I don't know what he could have done to possibly have killed that many more. Is it just random chance? The dun you know, like a, the dungeon he went into just happened to have twice as many enemies? Is there anything, any one of these achievements that like unlock more enemies? Um. No. No. Maybe one of those things behind the doors that I couldn't get into gives you a thousand more kills? I doubt it. So, yeah, I don't get it. But, okay. <laughs> we made it on the high score list. I'm not going to complain. It's pretty good. We finally beat Ripley Run, and, and basically, I, I consider it finished now. I mean, I did literally the best I could have done. Other than, like, I could have taken less damage or something. But other than that, it, it sure seems like... Unless I'm mistaken. If I'm mistaken, somebody tell me. But it sure, it sure seems like I did the absolute best I could have done. So there's, there's no room for me to do anything more here. Which means we'll probably go back to Moria next time. Uh, but, yeah. That's where we'll end it. Pretty happy about that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.